Have you ever had another artist launch their music on your Spotify page for you not to be able to do very much and find it really difficult to get their music removed? Well, I've had lots of experience of this, so I thought I would share a few of the crazy stories. Uh, I'm gonna start out before Spotify for Artists, my Spotify page that I launched my music on because my name is Tim Scott. There are a few Tim Scotts or Tim Scotts tagged on other albums, so there was quite a lot of material out there under this name. So when Spotify for Artists came along, I was able to separate it. But first of all, the photograph on this page was of Tim Scott McConnell when he was young, when he did the single called Swear. Now, that image, doesn't even match the track because the track wasn't even available on Spotify so it just made no sense why that was there but after a little bit of approaching Spotify and other things I managed to get the image changed to the image of me in this pink suit so that was really helpful Spotify for artists came I went to my distributor I submitted separations when that became a thing and managed to separate off all the other Tim Scotts that were on the page they got their own pages I got my own page because I've launched now launched 12 or is it 11 no 12 it's going to be 12 this year 12 albums 50 singles so there's quite a lot of material there and there's been quite a lot of material now on my page for a while and I've been promoting it like I'm sure some of you promote your Spotify page via adverts to try and generate traffic to your latest single or latest album release. The, the people who have released things on my page it's just unbelievable you know that they would look at my page and not think well you know this seems to be really full with one artist why don't i just launch my single on here um there's an american senator with the name tim scott now his team decided that it would be really good to launch his book as an album a music album a a an album album rather than like a podcast or a an audiobook no 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 they launched it as an album on my page so that was really awkward because you know how do you kind of deal with that my distributor uh, were not able to deal with that one so it was fortunate that I had a friend at Sony Records in London and the way that we got it removed he's like I can't believe this this is terrible I'll have a word with someone in the office so he turns around to someone else in the office who apparently knows someone who plays five-a-side football with someone who works for Spotify. So when they played football on Sunday, you know, he mentioned this and then they managed to get this um, audio book that was launched as an album removed and apparently he got a bit of a telling off for this or his team did because it's just not on, you know, you don't launch a book as an audio album, as a, as a music album. Um, other things, there was a rap artist and producer who kind of uh, started up and then just launched all this stuff on my page. There was a choir where everyone in the choir was tagged and obviously one of the people was called, was called Tim Scott so automatically they tagged my page. Just to top off this story and finish it off, uh, to come full circle which is just unbelievable, the Tim Scott who had the single in the 80s with Swear actually has been trying to relaunch this single on my page. He re relaunched the single at the same time I was just about to release a single and actually I got onto his team and, and it seems to have disappeared before it even launched but actually then because it, it sort of encroached on the sort of lead up time, very close lead up time for my single, my single's disappeared as well so uh, I'm going to have to unrelease it altogether to try and get it back on there I think because trying to go to Spotify when there's such a big company or when you're a small independent artist it's very difficult to get anyone to do things especially when you're with a distributor that must have tens of thousands of artists if not hundreds of thousands of artists all trying to you know needing perhaps a little bit of help here and there with these kind of things so I would love to know any stories that you have with artist separation if you're struggling with artist separation, I suggest you get onto your distributor. If you have uh, no joy that way, then perhaps approach the management or the record company of the other artist or ask them 
because if you both go at it um, go at it in a reasonable manner then things are going to get resolved yeah I'm just really grateful that I've got my own page and um, I can send people to listen to just my music and it's not getting mixed up with other people's music because that's you know frustrating for any artist really you know that uh, if someone just goes to your specific page then someone else's music starts coming up the only thing I would say is the problem is with all these different people launching products on my page I feel like it might have damaged the algorithm somewhere along the way um, in terms of you know there's so many different things that it's being told along the way by all these different inputs and you know it's been it has been really difficult some people say oh maybe you should change your name but the problem is with Spotify recognizing music they don't seem to use ISRCs or, or barcodes or anything like that they seem to ignore all that um, they just listen to the piece of music and say has it been launched before then they look at the um, metadata within the single and that must match if it's ever relaunched so there's no kind of you can relaunch it under a different name the stuff you've done you just have to start from scratch again and when you have a large back catalogue that seems a bit unreasonable and also I know people who've changed their name to something really random and the next day there's someone else on the internet who's changed their name to the same thing you know maybe I should we should all change our names to a string of characters of uh, X Y nine 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 four seven seven eight 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 four four x x but likelihood is tomorrow there'll be someone with the same prefix so you know maybe there is something in ai that will eventually be much better at fixing this but uh you know anyway i'd love to know your stories so drop them in the comments um i'd be glad to help anyone out if there's any knowledge that i might have gained along the way that can help you